Good evening. I have taken the following actions within my own administration. First, I have accepted the resignation of the Director of National Intelligence. Second, I have directed the Secretary of State to remove any personnel that received contempt citations from the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence. Finally, I have directed the Attorney General to refer the entire matter to the U.S. Attorney for the District of Columbia for possible criminal prosecution. international order and a Chinese one based on what it regards as historic rights that trump any global law. When the CIA created Final Voice, they knew that we would do more than just analysis. Now, Walt referred to those times in code. He would say the president is in need of a Lord High Executioner. The president's speech last night made no sense. I mean, that's nothing new. But linking a 10-year-old insider trading scandal and the State Department gang of five, it's got to make our intelligence services look really bad in front of our allies. So Lewis shows up and tells me the president wants me back. Is it possible that President Hamilton is thinking of military action against China? You know, I'd seen the Chinese submarine intelligence before I didn't bother to tell Lewis. The question is, did she already know? These are the nuclear missile submarines. Okay. That's the operational base. NSA analysis of the operational base. And then this is CIA analysis, Chinese intentions. Have you read this? The problems? Um, there is a general consensus that China is rapidly modernizing its military. Yeah, no shit. China's undersea nuclear deterrent? There is no word in Mandarin for deterrent look. The Chinese are going to deploy these submarines off the west coast of the United States by the end of the year. That's why I called you. Dakota was scared. I mean, really scared. Marines with a purple heart and a navy cross just don't get scared. Maybe I'm losing my touch. I'm getting older, but my last trip to Washington was obviously more than what I thought. Why can't I put the pieces together? What's the president up to? Lewis was convinced that I was briefing the president on what she didn't know. Then she showed me that list. So what am I looking at? Intention requests made outside the normal protocols. <laughs> no. No, no, no. These are all State Department people. That's not possible. Except for the Director of National Intelligence. What the hell would the Director of National Intelligence be doing? Making a request outside normal channels. He's the Director of National Intelligence. What are you briefing the President on? Lewis is really good at sex. I'm not complaining, you understand, but when she wants to have sex at a CIA blackmail apartment in the Watergate, well, that means she wants somebody to watch. I think part of it is showing off, but most of it is CIA instant analysis.
All of the world's security services are about countering a threat, real or in most cases just perceived. But there is one security service that is trying to keep mankind from blowing itself into extinction. Now, officially, the Vatican Security Service doesn't exist, but uh, my contact there is Anthony. His parents were killed in a botched MI5 raid in Ulster. Now, Anthony dedicated his life to the destruction of British intelligence, selling secrets to China. Well, now he's in the Vatican, and he still has those close ties to Chinese intelligence. Unfortunately, talking to Anthony is like talking to a used car salesman. It's rehearsed. Like he knows what questions I'm going to ask before I ask them. I guess he does answer to a higher power. Good morning, Anthony. Hello, Francis. Anthony, I want you to be straight with me. What is the Vatican's opinion of President Hamilton's speech? Better yet, what is the consensus of the NATO allies? I guess this isn't a social call. You have direct access to the White House. I should be asking you. Well, let's just say the president and I aren't on the best of terms right now. And frankly, I'm not sure I trust anybody in Washington. Okay, Francis, an exchange of information then. All right, Anthony, an exchange of information it is. I agree to that. The consensus is that the resignation of the Director of National Intelligence for insider trading is a deception. Look, the truth is Hamilton forced out the Director of National Intelligence, but it's got something to do with the scandal at the State Department. My problem is I can't find anybody in the intelligence community here to put those two things together. I don't see a connection. Does the Vatican see a connection? The connection is the China Protocol. <laughs> you seem surprised. Anthony, the China Protocol is a myth. It's just another crazy conspiracy theory. Is it, Francis? If you're looking for someone to confirm it, sorry, Anthony, it's not me. I lied to Anthony, but he knew that. The China Protocol is real, but I'm the only person in the United States that knows that. Anthony told me everything I needed to know, an exchange of information. China wants the secret of the protocol. Anthony is obviously working with China. So all I need to do is play China against the United States. I think that Mondrian that Lewis promised me is as good as mine. Now, this is all assuming that the president's envoy to China is not just another Hamilton stooge. I need a better security system. You ever get tired of staring at Dr. Gashay?